Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna review the Real ACC 5808. This is the Pro Plus version. So it has the USB, it makes it really, really simple to update the uh, firmware on this. For the Achilles firmware, which is exactly why you wanna buy this. The Achilles firmware, up, uh, it unlocks the true potential of this module so that it's on par, I would say, with the uh, True D and also the LaForge. And it gives you, you know, it gives you 500 some channels, it gives you favorites, you can just come through your favorites. Um, it also gives you a lost drone if you use a patch antenna, so it's really, really neat. Um, the door that you can get for this is like $4.95 extra. You have it in carbon or you can get it in white. Um, if you have the Dominator SEs like myself or a black set of Fat Sharks, or if you have, let's say, skins on your Fat Sharks and you wanna match that, you can easily paint this. I painted this using the um, Ace Cheap Ace Hardware paint. It like 15 minutes it's it's a primer a paint and primer and I was able to put enough layers on here to not only match the color but I also match the texture and so when you put it in the goggles it really looks nice so I'm gonna put this on the bench I'm gonna show you the stock firmware and then I'm gonna show you the Achilles firmware and how easy it is to do and how easy it is to calibrate this as well. okay so we're back here with the goggles and the module um, you've probably already seen this before but I'll just show it off here this is, this is really nice, it's very robust. I like the standoffs between the two boards. That adds a lot of rigid, you know um, security there. Um, the pins are very nice, they're soldered through, it's all nice and shiny, did a good job on that. Um, the third board here with the screen, I notice they have a piece of foam here to kind of help with the screen so it doesn't get pushed in or put a lot of stress on these pins here. Um, solder is good on that. So overall, it's a good quality product here. The one thing I did notice though, if I put it into the goggles, it, it kind of has a little bit of play right back and forth like this, right on this end here. So there was a piece of foam that was included in the package and it just happens to be the right height for back here. So what I did is I cut a little piece, I put it right above here like that and when I put it into the goggles, I noticed that it actually takes care of that slop. So I'll just put that position it right there and put this in. Make sure to push on the board and you know the bottom board where the pins are when you're putting this in and nowhere else. The last thing you want to push is here on this little selector. You'll damage it. So just put it in here like this. Okay. This is really not made to be taken in and out of these goggles. I'll just let you know that. I mean, none of these are. Because when you when you do that, you're creating, you can create some problems. And we'll just click the door in. Okay, we'll just click this in. Just like that, guys. And this is really nice. The door is nice and solid. Um, very, very nice fit all the way around the edges. I mean, they did a really great job on, on the moldings on here. Fit and finish on this is just really really nice I wasn't expecting that for a four dollar part but wow they did a really nice job on this so there you go um, it looks good Achilles on here and show you all the great features that Achilles has to unlock this receiver and that's why everybody's buying it they're not buying it for the stock the, the stock firmware all right so we're gonna i'm not even gonna go over the stock firmware because it really isn't that great and it's pretty self-explanatory so you want to go to the achilles uh website and you want to download achilles v2 for real acc it's a zip file so you have to unzip that you also have to download the file x loader and i'll put that in the description down below as well and so once you're done with that and you have them unzipped you want to go ahead and um run X loader and then you want to make sure your ports correct it's actually found your unit you want to make sure it's on 328 just like the screen here um, set up the baud rate just like the screen here and then select the file we have to clear off the stock firmware so that's what you want to do and then once that's clear it's going to kind of lock up your your 5808 and, and that's perfectly normal and it'll become unlocked once you update the firmware to V2. So it takes a little while to update the firmware, you know, like maybe 30 seconds. So don't think that it locked up. Just, just give it a little bit of time and it'll say complete at the bottom there. 
So that's what I'm doing right here is updating the firmware. And then once the firmware is updated, your screen is then going to um, go to a calibrate screen. That's perfectly normal. Just unplug it from your computer and put it in your goggles. And then once it's in your goggles, you can begin the, um, the calibration for the RSSI for both of the receivers. And I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, I got the quadcopter hooked up in another room. As you can see, I have the module in here. Painted flat black so it matches the SEs. And we're going to plug it in. And it should get to a calibration screen. Starting calibration. Okay. If you see any flickering on the screen, um, like the, the screen is flickering, it's because of the um, sync between the camera and the screen here. So save successfully. Let's take a look at it and see if I got it. Yes, I do. So it's actually um, projecting an image from the other room. So you want to do this without the antennas. Okay. And you can see it's switching back and forth here. Okay. See it switches from one to the next. Whichever one's strongest. So there we go. And it's definitely picking up the strongest signal, which is this one here. Okay. I'm just going to go through, quickly go through everything. I got the uh, 139 Sparrow, uh, GEP Sparrow. And it saved it last time it calibrated at 5866. Plus, I, could, I also put it in my favorites as well. So let's just go through the manual. So we can go through an ultra search, a manual search. You can add your favorites here. Uh, you have an event. When you click on event, it saves the first. It saves like 10 channels that it sees, like if you're at a race. And then you can just... Um, Go back and choose each one of them at one time. So that's kind of nice. It's a lot faster than having to do um, other systems that are out there. You have a fast. And then you have your fine model. So if you put a patch antenna here, you can hit fine model and it'll beep. And it just goes off the signal strength. You got your, um, your setup. This is right here. And it'll take you into setup, which is your call sign, RSI check here filter is normal and you can do calibrate and turn your alarms on and off you can save and exit okay back here in your main screens if you have favorites you just go up and down you can see here it selects different favorites but let's say i want to take a favorite out of here like this one here i was just messing around with i want to take this one out so i'm going to hold this in and i'm just going to click on delete and it's going to delete that so it's not it no longer in my favorites so you're just going to go back and forth here. Okay. So there's all the features. Um, as you can see, it fits very, very nicely. And I got it to match using the flat black paint from Ace Hardware. So very, very happy with this. Very, very happy. So there you go, guys. Um, you can get this at Banggood. You know, Banggood's always got sales. I would, I would highly recommend it. Uh, the door, it just fits perfectly. And I'm very, very happy with this. So I'm really, really looking forward on the performance of this one. All right, guys, that concludes my review of the Real ACC 5808 Pro Plus. I got to tell you, it's a huge step in the right direction having that USB. Uh, makes upgrading the firmware so much easier, as I just shown. And to be honest with you, I would not be interested in this module if it wasn't for the Achilles firmware, because it truly unlocks the absolute potential of this module to keep up with the big boys like um, True D and, and especially the Forge. I got to I gotta give a shout out to Banggood for sending this to me for free, full disclosure. They did. I've been a customer of Banggood's for a number of years now. Um, I'm really, really happy with them. I've had one issue in all of the purchases that I've done. They sent me the wrong FC. That was about a year ago. And how they, re how they resolved that was simple. You keep the FC, we'll send you the correct one. And these are expensive FCs, so I was really shocked by that and very impressed by them. Um, and also their shipping has gotten a lot better too. I got this within two weeks. I got the purple uh, 215 after their anniversary sale. I did a review on that if you're interested, um, for those of you who are not a subscriber. And I got all of that stuff within two weeks. 
So, I mean, that's coming from China. Um, Amazon takes me almost as long and I'm getting, and I'm a prime member and it seems like every time I turn around, they're holding on to my stuff. So just to give you an idea, not really that impressed with Amazon or their customer service. Um, so I'll digress on that. I got some, you guys, um, for the people who are new to the channel, uh, hit the subscribe button. Of course, you're going to get the, um, the notifications that I got new stuff coming. And I got some really exciting stuff coming for the people who are subscribers. I got the HDLRC uh, 440. That's a 20 by 20 uh, stack. That's uh, 4 in 1 ESCs. That's 40 amp and 50 amp burst plus the the new um, receiver that you can change the channels and stuff like that right on your radio right through your OSD um, I also have the new run cam I have the new run cam mini split coming up so I, I cannot wait for that both of those things are going to go into a Nito fastback frame and so I'm going to do, be doing a review on that. Um, I also have new batteries coming right now from um, uh, from Hyperion. Those are the those are the brand new. Uh, it's the new formula for their HV batteries. I'm very excited about that. And um, I'll also be doing my, my my snow build here coming up too. The only reason I, I've been teasing that for about a month or so, and the only reason why is I, I got a lot of stuff still coming. So it's it's been very very difficult to get everything together to build the thing. Is really what it comes down to, and that's going to have that hobby wing stack in it as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. So if you have any questions or comments, guys, just leave them down below. I'm always good about checking that, and um, I get notifications, so I check it and I try to answer as soon as I can. Um, if you do like this channel and this is the first time you've seen my channel subscribe so thanks guys and have a great day hopefully you enjoyed the review of the real acc 50 look at that i mean it just looks so great and it looks like fat shark came up with it it's just awesome so thanks guys have a great day